The papal conclave will convene in the Sistine Chapel and stay in St. Martha's house. At the beginning of the conclave, nine cardinals are chosen, three as scrutineers, three as infirmari, and three as revisers. Cardinals fill out their ballots and then fold them once. They then take completed ballots to the altar. Each cardinal must take an oath before casting his ballot. After all votes are cast, the first scrutineer shakes the container and the last scrutineer removes and counts the ballots. Each ballot is opened by the first scrutineer and handed to the second scrutineer, who hands it to the third scrutineer to be read aloud. As the scrutineer reads the votes aloud, he perforates them with a needle and threads them onto a string. The ballots are added up, checked over and placed into the incinerator. Dark smoke signals that the new pope was not chosen and the process starts again. If no pope is chosen on the first three days, one day is given for prayer. After another seven ballots, another day of prayer. This can be repeated two more times, after which only the two names that receive the most votes are eligible. When the new pope is finally chosen, white smoke will be seen coming from the Sistine Chapel.